worker bees are busy making honey. But this colony isn't just here to satisfy a sweet tooth. The bees play a crucial role, pollinating hedgerows, fruits and vegetables during their daily search for nectar. But all is not well in the bee world. This should be full of bees now, absolutely full of bees. Another box on top even. But as you see, there's not a bee to be seen. And this is the culprit, the Varroa mite, which injects bees with a deadly virus. They arrived in Kent 11 years ago and wiped out whole colonies. Since then, they've been kept at bay with pesticides. Now, though, a new pesticide-resistant mite has arrived. We're a total loss, really. Unless we have some other products brought into the country which are effective, the impact on hives in Kent and across the country is going to be devastating. They are going to die out much as they did in 1995 here in Kent and 1992 in Devon. And what's bad for the bees is also bad for produce. This farm near Tunbridge Wells has 60 acres of orchards which supply supermarkets up and down the country. A hive of bees is hired in every year at blossom time to ensure pollination. They're very important because they help the blossom to set, so that ensures we get a good crop. If we don't get a good set at blossom time, then we don't have a good apple crop at the end of the day. And the bees are crucial for that? The bees are absolutely crucial because they're part of the pollination. For many beekeepers, the answer is government help getting new products used on the continent licensed here. Otherwise, they believe this could be the worst year yet for Kent's bees and the knock-on effect could be devastating. Light of the bumblebee, these furry cousins of the honeybee are vital for the survival of our countryside. As well as being very beautiful insects, they're also incredibly important pollinators of the majority of our wildflowers and also of a lot of crop types. And without bumblebees, you're, you're talking about reduced crop yields and you're also talking about sweeping changes to the whole of the countryside. Living in the undergrowth are a number of rare species that are now under threat because of plans to develop the area. They're on a list called the, the UK Biodiversity Action Plan, or UK BAP. That's basically a list of, of the very most threatened and endangered creatures across the whole of the UK. And that should afford them some protection because we're recognising them, recognising that they're, that they're rare. And yet they, they still seem determined to build on these sites. The greatest threat to bumblebee populations is the destruction of their habitat, which is why Professor Ted Bunton's book, along with many other voices, is pressing the government to do more to ensure their survival. These rare bumblebees won't live through a development, and experts say they can't be reintroduced to the area at a later date. The only way to save our six-legged friends is to preserve their horizon of wildflowers and crops instead of creating one filled with tiled roofs and chimneys.